Welcome back to your very own YouTube channel, Dr. Nikita's Rad Synapse, and I am Dr. Nikita here, your mentor, educator, and friend. So today's video is going to address everything about the grand test, the queries that I get most frequently these days as September has started. Should we give GTs? How many GTs should we give? How to manage the time to give GT, to review the GTs, all of those we will address this in a today's video. So stay tuned till the end because I will tell you some important tricks to give the GTs and to review the GTs and to manage your time which will definitely help you give an extra edge to your preparation for NEET PG. So the number one question that I get is should we give GTs? The answer is an absolute yes there is no doubt about it this question is as if asking can i get a pg seat without giving the neat pg exam or without giving any postgraduate medical entrance exam absolute no so giving gts is as essential as giving the exam to get a seat in the pg so yes it's a very very essential yes you can consider it like you know the sports person or any you know the great singer any great artist no one reaches to that level without practicing every day practice is the only thing which makes a whole lot of difference giving gts actually gives you you know the real exam hall feeling the time management it helps you realize the mistakes that you know you can make in your exam hall so make sure you give the gts it's high time that you start giving gts if you haven't started yet the second query that i get is how frequently should we give the gts so i would say the ideal thing would be to give one gt a week like let's fix a day in a week i'll give gt every sunday or every monday every tuesday whatever it may be if you are too pressed of time then give it once in a fortnight that is once in two weeks so the first one that i said once in a week would be the ideal one then the third query is how to manage time to give GTs with the revision timetable that we have. I believe that all of you are aware of the revision timetable that we have on our telegram group and if not please get aware of it because it will keep you on track it will give you daily targets we have daily tests after the target is over to assess your preparation so we have almost 10k members of family on a telegram group all of them following the daily targets so do join them and follow the daily targets and assess your preparation so i get a query from the students like you know with the daily target how do we manage time to give the grand test so i would say that fix one day in a week to give a gt instead of giving three hours or three and a half hours to complete that 300 questions ka grand test try and finish the grand test in only two and a half hours and give it as if you have only two and a half hours to complete the gt because that will really help you to develop the speed to solve the questions and if at the exam hall if you get lengthy questions it will give you more time to complete those questions so try and complete the gt in two and a half hours only now next query is how to review the gts now for reviewing the gts you should start with the questions that you have got wrong and rather than completing the entire GT review in one day or two days, I would say that allocate some time every day to reviewing the GT. Let us do some calculations here. Let's get back to some basic mathematics. So you have 300 questions in the grand test. I said uh, keep one day a week to give the GT, let's say Sunday. Then Monday to Saturday, six days, you can review the GT. So six days, 300 questions, that means 50 questions per day you have to review. That's not a big task at all. Now let us say that on an average, uh, we take say three minutes to review one question. Reviewing the question means looking where did you go wrong, reading the explanation even of the correct questions so that if you get to learn some new point in the explanation, adding on to your notes if there's some new point. So everything let's take it takes three minutes so 50 questions three minutes each question that is 150 minutes that is two and a half hours so each day allocate two and a half hours to reviewing those 50 questions if you finish the 50 questions in less than two and a half hours that's a bonus time that you have to read something else or complete your daily target right so basically you have to allocate two and a half hours each day for gt one day a week to give the GT, rest of the six days a week to complete the review of the GT. 
start reviewing the gt with the incorrect questions then come to the questions which you got right but you were not very sure of that means jo tukke lag gaye the jo guess the wo wale questions you have to review the next and then at the last keep the questions that you were very sure of review those as well because it would be like a revision for you and the explanation of the questions might give you one extra point that might be asked in your exam so this way what happens you are prioritizing which questions to review first so the incorrect ones should be reviewed first and whatever points questions have been asked in the gt highlight them in your notes so that in your second revision you know that this means that this was a important topic which you might have missed and in the second revision you'll pay more attention to it whatever new points you come across add on to the notes of the respective subjects if it's an extra point at the end of that notebook make a separate section of the new points that you are learning so that you can revise them quickly at the end so i think this is the best way forward to take the gts and manage your time as well if you do that every day two and a half hours then it will be a change for you as well you know if you get bored of reading hematology the entire day fmt the entire day or whatever target you have for the entire day get on to reviewing the questions of the gt so like that you know change is always good so it keeps the momentum up so whenever you are bored take the gt ka questions review it 10 questions done 20 questions done come back to your daily target say hematology again you are bored do the rest of the 10 questions you are then you are you know you are bored of gt review go back to your daily target so keep switching the tasks that you are doing doing only one task gets a bit boring at times so gt will help you to you know get some change also in your uh, daily targets as well every day so i hope this video helps you in streamlining or it gives you an idea how to plan the gts how to give the gts and one more very very important point whenever you are giving the gts please do not do it on your mobile phone i know it is very easy to do it you know the phones are so handy but you are not going to give your exam on your smartphones so make sure that you do it on a laptop or a desktop and you know as be as serious as you would be in your final exam hall so that you know it really really prepares you for the final match that is the date has been declared that is 10th of january all right so give it on the laptop give it one day a week rest of the six days review 50 questions each day add on to your notes keep revising them that's the best way forward to tackle that demon of gts that we all have but trust me it is not that difficult as we think it's really very easy once you get into the flow you would actually start loving to give gts as i used to during my preparation so yes that's all for today if you have any queries you have any other ideas in your mind that you are following to do the gts to tackle the gts do let me know in the comments you know that i love to hear from you i love to connect with you and yes i'm there with you always that's all for today goodbye take care keep studying keep revising and keep winning i'll see you in my next one